SpectraLayers Pro, we use the Transform tool to move sound in time and pitch. This tool has new functionality in SpectraLayers Pro 7 in the form of Transform Selection. Let me take a minute to show you how it works. Before using the Transform tool, first we have to make a selection. I'm going to use the Magic Wand tool to make my selection in the Spectral Graph. The new Transform tool in SpectraLayers Pro 7 allows you to adjust the boundaries of your selections directly on the spectral graph. And now you can duplicate selections by simply option dragging them to a new location on the spectral graph. Spectral Layers Pro 7 has a loudness contour feature. I'll demonstrate this feature first. Let's very quickly set up a use case scenario. Listen to this drum loop. Okay, here I am splitting this drum loop into component parts in Spectral Layers Pro 7. If you'd like to learn more about this process, check out the Unmixed Components tutorial. Okay, now I am going to solo each new component layer, starting with the tonal layer. Next, the transient layer. And finally, we have the third new component layer called the noise layer. The way human beings perceive sound, higher pitches have more apparent loudness. I can demonstrate that here in Spectral Layers Pro 7. Listen to the tonal layer again in isolation. The tonal layer is where all of the lowest frequencies are in our beat. Let's listen to the original source material one more time, just for context. And remember, we've split this drum loop into three component parts. And because the gain structure hasn't changed, we have 100% phase coherent playback, no digital artifacts. I'm going to select the Transform tool and perform radical pitch shifting on the tonal layer. I am going to pitch the tonal layer up by about 5,000 Hz. Let's listen to the result. Well, I think I'm on the right track, but my pitched up layer is really loud. If this were Spectral Layers Pro 6, the first thing I would have to do is go over to the Layers panel and reduce the volume on this layer to make it fit better in the mix. Spectral Layers Pro 7 has a great feature called Loudness Contour. I'm going to undo the change that I made to this file and try the operation again, this time with the Loudness Contour engaged. Let's listen. We've achieved a great result in Spectral Layers Pro 7 using the new Loudness Contour in an artificial intelligence-fueled unmixed components process. Loudness Contour also works in the opposite direction. Sounds that are pitched down will increase in volume. Whether you're pitching up or down, using Loudness Contour in Spectral Layers Pro 7 when doing radical pitch shifting, will generally give you the same result every time, and that is this. No perceived volume differences, no matter how much pitch shifting you do. We hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Spectral Layers Pro 7 delivers audio empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.